Hi, I'm Cornelius Gold. I'm the Algorithm Developer at Omnia Audio at the Telos Alliance. I'm the guy that worked with Frank Foti in developing the Omnia 11 audio processor and its update called GeForce. Engineers ask me, what's this GeForce all about? It's a, an entirely new audio processor, basically, that runs on the existing Omnia 11 platform. So, the other question I get all the time is, what's new about this? Why, what's different about GeForce? And well, uh, GeForce is a lot different. And one of the aspects that is different is, it's able to bring you an entirely new dimension of natural sounding audio. The audio processor is smart enough to blend in with your music and it gives it a whole new layer of transparency. You hear the music, not the audio processor. You hear the live voice, not the processor. But instead of the audio processor going in and just beating the music into submission and totally changing it and to make it fit some predetermined can settings that, that you would normally get with static controls, what GeForce does is it, it adapts itself to the music. It kind of wraps itself around the music. It makes it becomes a musical process. So the music comes forward, and that's what you hear. You know, it's more dynamic, more natural, more alive. So it's like putting it on air is like hearing a music library for the first time all over again. So what's the, what's the first reaction of programmers that hear uh, GeForce? Well, my favorite one is is a. a well-known program director where we put it on the air and uh, they hear it on the air, it sounds natural, sounds open, and he asks, is it loud enough? Or how's our loudness? And you say, punch around and find out. Punch around and find out that his station actually was a little louder sounding than the rest of the market. And he turns around and goes, can you do that? And I was, sure you can do that. Can, can, guys, are we, are, we, are we legally modulated? And he says, yeah, you're at 100%. And he listens for a couple more songs and turns around again. Can you do that? So, with this totally amazed look on his face. So, it, there's engineers and programmers everywhere that's amazed by what they're hearing from GeForce. Well, what is it that they're hearing? Well, I guess in, the, in a very globalized sense, is uh, on a typical audio processor, the, the process, the funneling process that you have where you take wide ranging program content and you make it consistent and, and over the air for loudness, rather than forcing it down this tunnel, this funnel effect, harshly and banging it around and squeezing it in, well, you, we have this funnel that dynamically shapes itself to allow the music to go into the process and it comes out sounding a lot smoother, less mechanical, uh, more musical and natural sounding. And we do that by taking advantage of the computer that's in an audio processor. Yeah, there's a computer in there. I like to use it for stuff. I don't like to hide, I don't, I'm not gonna hide it from you. So in this case, I use that computer to, to calculate and figure out and make decisions about what to do with the dynamic sections so that the processor gets itself out of the way and you hear your music and enjoy it. What people are hearing with GeForce is uh, this, this combination of processes that work together seamlessly and communicate with each other and it gives you consistent, powerful bass, low end, clear highs, uh, your, the dynamics of the music comes through better and vocals can reach out and come forward in the mix. Um, engineers have described it as very compelling sounding in, in an audio they can listen to for long periods of time and same with programmers as well. The, the G-Force is able to sound as, as open and distinct as you want, or if there's somebody who wants to have a, more of a traditional built-up sound, you can do that as well. It's give, it has a lot of flexibility. You can adjust the processor, the processor itself gets out of the way, which has been a goal to allow you to dial in much faster, much easier without fighting the audio processor and get you the sound you want. So I've been really excited with GeForce because finally I'm able to take all the effort and work that I've done in the past in the analog domain and get it to come across in DSP, finally. Um, a lot of this work uh, began 
about 2005, which or so when I started getting into DSP and started translating a lot of my work into the DSP domain. Uh, the first implementation of Omni 11 had some of that work in there, but it was still there was still a lot more to go, and I was driven to to do this. So almost immediately after the first Omni 11 release was out, I started working on what would become GeForce because it just wasn't right where I wanted it to be. And I'm happy to say that after doing a lot of research and learning about some of the things that, that digital handles differently than analog when it comes to manipulating audio in an audio processing sense uh, and, and coming up with code that, that handles these conditions and allows the digital processor to act more like an analog processor does. I was able to bring forth that sound that I've had some of the, some of the, the uh, and the other underlying uh, goodness that I had in the analog, for lack of a better description, uh, to you. And I'm excited about it. And uh, hopefully you'll be excited as well. An option that's available for GeForce is the Perfect Clipper, which is an algorithm developed by my colleague Hans van Zuchten. And the neat thing about the uh, Perfect Clipper is that it, everyone has seen when you rip music into your uh, automation systems for airplay, you'll see everyone is familiar with the brick that comes out of the, on the waveform, this quiet brick. Um, a lot of that bricking comes from just brute force distortion that's applied, you know, literally. Turn it up until it, until it clips and distorts. The Perfect Clipper looks for these flat top waveforms and restores the original peak that we should have been there, along with all the other related harmonic components that go with it, which is missed by many other uh, declippers, which is why Hans calls it the Perfect Declipper, and I agree, it's the best one out there. And we've got it and it runs in real time in front of all of the audio processing stages. The cool thing that you get with the Perfect Declipper is it really opens up things, especially with percussion on today's top 40 music where all the percussion is all smashed and clipped. It restores the drums. The drums come to life and they stick out and mix more and they sound natural. So that, that goes along with the GeForce uh, algorithms to bring to you something that sounds more musical than, you, than you're presented with right now. GeForce is not just about the last three years or so of development that I've put into this specific project, but it's basically the culmination of everything that I've worked on over the last 35 years and for the first time ever be able to put it all into one audio processor. So over those years I've experienced production changes, the styles of music changing, the styles of radio presenting changes, and all of that experience is in GeForce now. I've always been a fan of, of processed audio, but I've always wanted to add an element of excitement to the mix. Present this music to me in a, in a, from a different angle I've not seen it before. Just don't destroy the music doing it. So that's been my, my passion and, and, the, and the drive behind what you see in GeForce now. So give it a shot. I think you'll like it and I think you'll enjoy the flexibility and power that's available in GeForce.